Okay, let's first get the obvious out of the way. Nothing beats a high quality acoustic piano. That being said, my super general statement is that any piano that you enjoy playing and that will bring you back to the piano is a great piano to work on. So the only piano that I truly own is this Kawaii digital piano. It's not the best quality, the touch is a little funky, but it's weighted and graded and that's what matters to me. So I enjoy playing this piano for a variety of reasons. Most of it's personal because I've grown attached to it, but some are very specific reasons. For example, I could use headphones and I could play at any hour of the day without bothering people around me. Of course, if you're playing really heavily, there's that clunky noise, but it's not. Another little thing is that you don't have to tune this ever. So for me personally, I do a very specific type of work on this piano. Studying scores, memorizing music, learning notes to a certain extent, using this as a MIDI keyboard or whatever, USB keyboard, and just mm -hmm. fooling around on it on my own terms. Now for classical repertoire, like I said, those specific reasons, I don't really practice anything delicate where I need to be focused on getting a very sensitive touch. Obviously, the, the, the quality of the sound is just not there. It's not the same. Now, comparing digital and acoustic, that's just pointless because acoustic is better. Uh, it depends on what you're comparing and for what you're comparing it, right? I think it's sort of similar to having a tablet with a very high quality stylus. This is a real pen, but just as an example, even the best, best, best tablets out there where you can simulate drawing and painting, it's just not the same experience. So in the past, when I'm learning a very difficult repertoire or repertoire that I, I really need to learn, but I don't want to learn, that sort of thing, I would get on this piano put the volume very low and then learn it that way where I could hear it. I know what I'm doing to a certain extent, but I wouldn't have to listen to myself practicing it at a real volume. So I would do something like this. I could hear it enough, but it doesn't really bother me. And I know that's, that's terrible, but that's just the truth. Sometimes I would record something maybe like a loop, and then I would just play it back. I make sure to put the touch so that's really heavy, the heaviest setting. I don't really care for all of these, so that's it. I really like this digital piano, it's, it serves me well, and 